Biscaino is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Arotis Biscaino. Here comes the second baseman, Robinson Cano. And he's getting his first plate Leading appearance here in the eighth after entering second off the baseman. bench just a little bit ago. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ready with the 0-1. Eight. A high fastball is in there. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, he got a two-strike breaking ball up in the zone. He fouled it off. I don't know. Maybe that was a ball he could have handled a little bit better. And here's a swing and a miss by Cano as he set down on strikes, baseman, and there's one away. Two. Talk about Alex. blowing it by a guy. Right, Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. And that'll bring up the former first-rounder, Alex Bregman. He's 0 for 3 so far, so he hasn't done much to help at the top of the lineup. That's by him for strike one. Two and one. One out, nobody on. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Here's J.D. Martinez, and they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. Here's a swing and a high pop-up, drifting toward the third base dugout. And that's going to land foul. The 0-2 pitch. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. Now, beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Travis please. Hayden enters now from the pen to the start Mets. the ninth inning as he'll Number try to keep 86. the score right where it is, heading to the bottom of the ninth. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Leading off for the Cardinals, third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Hit on the ground toward the left. Bregman gloves it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. First baseman number 44. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Here's Jason Hayward now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Here's the first pitch to him. And not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. For the most part, he's looked really locked in at the plate in this game. Not so much on that swing, though. Now the 0-1. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. And that'll get down for a base hit. And this will find its way to the 335 sign. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Whoa, back to back sliders. Him? Now, the first Not one was almost like a practice Marcel pitch. He saw the spin. Ozuna. The second one, he recognized and got the base hit. Here's Marcelo Zuna dribbled up the line that rolls foul for strike one the 0 1 fly ball to straightaway left and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over danger averted following the two out double don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. 
Bruce Suter, Suter comes on looking for a save here in the forward. bottom of the ninth inning. Number 42, Bruce Suter. Coming to the plate now, Mike Trout. He'll be the one to get us going here in the Leading bottom of inning number nine. Bottom of the ninth. Center fielder, number 27. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Objective number one right here is finding a way to get on base. So I'm not surprised to see him taking on the first pitch there. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. On the ground to the left side. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Well, that's what you want right there. Late in the game, leadoff single. Now, they still got some work to do. You got the tying run on the on-deck circle, but they've got a shot now. Alonso. Ready now. Keep Alonso. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a knee-high fastball. The 0-1 pitch. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. The second for one. On to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Oh, man, that's just a backbreaker right there. You get the leadoff man to start the ninth, and you're looking pretty good, right? Not when the next guy bounces into a double play. We'll see if they can get the final out and wrap this thing up. Into the box now. Kyle Schwarber will swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Rounded weakly to the right side. Altuve ranges to his left. Throw to first, he'll be in time to record the final out, and the Cardinals have fought off elimination here on the road. They've set up a winner take all game seven tomorrow night as this one is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. for one final check of the line score as you see the key players there in this shutout victory. And fellas the outing turned in by the man you see there certainly can't go unrecognized. Max Scherzer he's our tops player of the game well it wasn't exactly a dominant outing but he did pitch well got him into the seventh inning and kept his guys in the lead and he'll take home the win because of it And tonight's ends as a 3 nothing shutout win. St. Louis have evened up the league Our championship series in three games apiece to force a St. game Louis seven. Cardinals. Seth Lugo is tagged with the loss hit. despite giving up One only error. two unearned they runs. So that's a wrap here tonight for my partners in the booth, Harold back. Reynolds and no Dan Plezak, and our three entire games. crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. No You've they been watching MLB eight. Network. Good night, everybody. Time of the ball game, two hours and 40 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at City Field, 45,000. The Mets thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.